dear friends greetings to you uh, this is dr agustian associate professor the department of plant biology and biotechnology laila college chennai first of all i'd like to thank the organizer for giving me the opportunity and also i would like to acknowledge mata pita guru devam along with my students who contributes uh, many things towards my development coming to the topic i chose the topic on the biological pesticides uh, in the field of agriculture uh, apart from the drought and salinity the disease are the major threaten threaten to the agricultural yield um, the disease can be caused by either bacteria fungus or virus so these things can be controlled using various biological uh, pesticides before go into the biological pesticides let us see what are chemical pesticides uh, based on the usage the chemical uh, the chemicals are called as the first generation chemicals which are nothing but heavy metals no doubt it kills all the uh, pathogens but it remains the environment and causes lot of environmental hazards after that the second generation chemicals came which is nothing but organic pesticides organic and inorganic pesticides no doubt these pesticides also controls lot of diseases but the excess usage of these chemicals are not eco friendly and causes the bio magnification and other uh, environmental illness so scientists thought of biological pesticides among the biological pesticides uh, there are many uh, bacterial insecticides viral insecticides fungal insecticides along with that the integrated pest management are involved in the controlling of the diseases coming to the first aspect the bacterial bio insecticides the bacterial bio insecticides are many insect pathogenic bacteria that currently are used or have potential for use as insecticides they include species of bacillus clostridium pseudomonas enterobacter proteus seresia etc bacillus thuringiensis bt an endospore forming bacterium has been most extensively exploited as microbial insecticide against insect pests it is registered for use against 90 different insect pests bacillus thuringiensis bt is a naturally occurring bacterial disease of insects these bacteria are the active ingredient in some insecticides bt insecticides are most commonly used against some leaf and the needle feeding caterpillars recently strains have been produced that affect certain fly larvae such as mosquitoes and larvae of leaf beetles bt is considered safe to people and the non target species such as wild life bt belongs to the family bacteria bacillus cereus b cereus is a strain produce toxin that cause gastroenteritis that is food poisoning in human bt is differentiated from bacillus cereus because it contains a plasmid that produces the protein crystals that are toxic to insects bt does not cause food poisoning bt is largely used in agriculture especially organic farming bt is also used in urban aerial spraying programs and also the transgenic crops history of bt the japanese biologist shigeten ishiwatari was investigating 
the cause of the Soto disease also can be called as a flochery disease, the sudden collapse disease that the cause that was killing large populations of silkworms when he feed when he first isolated the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis as the cause of the disease in 1901. Ernest Berliner isolated the bacteria that had killed the Mediterranean floor moth in 1911 and rediscovered Bt. He named it Bacillus thuringiensis after the German town Thuringia where the moth was found. Farmers started to use Bt as a pesticide in 1920. France soon started to make commercialized spore-based formulations called sporine in 1938. Baseless thuringians strains are used against various insects. There are various strains of Bt, Bt kustaki, BTK, which are effective against the types of Lepidopterous insects, gypsy moth, cabbage looper. Next one is the BT Isawai, BTA, is effective against wax moth larvae in honeycombs. The other one is the BT Isilensis, BTI, which is effective against mosquitoes, black flies, and midges. The other one is Bt Santiago, which are effective against certain beetle species. What is Bt? Bt is the basilic thuringiensis, is a spore forming bacterium that produces crystal protein, that is a cry protein, which are toxic to many species of insects. Where this Bt is found? Bt can be found almost everywhere in the world. Bt has been found in all types of soil, terrain, including beaches, desert, and tundra habitats. How many kinds of Bt are there? There are thousands of different Bt strains producing over 200 types of cry proteins that are active against an extensive range of insects and some other invertebrates. Coming to the mode of action, when conditions for bacterial growth are not optimal, Bt, like many bacteria, forms spores. Unlike many other bacteria, when Bt creates spores, it also creates a protein crystal. This crystal is the, the toxic component of the Bt. Bt has to be eaten to cause mortality of the insect. The Bt toxin dissolve in the high pH of the insect gut and become active. The toxins then attack the gut cells of the insect, punching holes in the lining and then after the insect ingests Bt, the crystal is dissolved in the insect's alkaline gut. Then the insect's digestive enzymes break down the crystal structure and activate the Bt's insecticidal component called the delta endotoxin. The delta endotoxin binds to the cells lining the midgut membrane and creates pores in the membrane upsetting the guts and the ion balance. The insect soon stops feeding and starves to death. If the insect is not susceptible to the direct action of the delta endotoxin, death occurs after Bt starts vegetative growth inside the insect gust. And uh, this uh, structure shows, this uh, picture shows the mechanism of the toxicity of the Bt. When the spore, when the, when the bacteria contains a spore, which is nothing but a crystal protein or eaten by the insect. The, the insecticide, insecticidal crystal protein enters into the gut and where in the gut it is dissolved by the, the different pH. 
the gut okay it dissolves the crystal and the activation of toxins are takes place that means the gamma endotoxin is converted into protoxin and the protoxin get activated toxin okay so these are the things that are takes place in the insect and finally the toxins bind to the receptors in gut epithelium where it causes the pores okay and the pores are open and uh, it leads to the proliferation of gut membrane and uh, okay later later the spores germinate and a bacteria proliferate and leads to the insect die and coming to this slide a 12 day old cotton boll worm larvae raised on the diet with no bt here a 12 day old cotton boll worm larvae raised in a diet containing bt proteins okay and here you can able to see uh, the insects are not affecting the uh, ball uh, the cotton ball where here you can able to see that the cotton is affected by the insect coming to the bt crystals bt crystals sometimes referred as insecticidal crystal protein icp are a protein crystals formed during sporulation in some bt stains these crystal proteins are toxic to very specific species of insects and the natural enemies of many crop plants that is beneficial insects there are main more than 150 insects that are known to be susceptible in some way to bt humans and other vertebrates do not have these receptors in their bodies so the toxin is unable to affect the human being and the, this table shows the various types of uh, genes this is nothing but the cry genes and the shape of the crystal crystals and uh, the type of a protein that is the size of the protein and also you can able to see what are the type of insects which are get affected okay cry one have the several subgroups a a small a a small b a small c capital b capital c capital d capital e capital f capital g these are the various types of cry genes are found and it is uh, it has got a bipyramidal shape and after the digestion you can expect uh, different types of proteins uh with the size of 130 to 138 kilo daltons and the lepidoptera larvae are highly susceptible for this kind of proteins and coming to the second type of gene that is a cry 2 gene has subgroups a b and c it is cuboidal in structure and uh, it releases the protein with the size 69 to 71 kd and the insects which are susceptible for this protein are lepidopteran and the dipteran larvae coming to the cry g cry 3 which has got subgroups a b and c and the shape of the crystal is flat and irregular and the protein size is 73 to 74 the type of insects which are susceptible for this protein is coleopteran type of insects coming to the next type of cry gene which is cry 4 which has got subgroups a b c and d the crystal shape is bipyramidal and uh, during the uh, digestion it releases the active protein 73 to 134 size of the kilo dalton proteins and uh, the insects which are susceptible for this protein are a dipteran type of insect coming to the last one cry 5 to cry 9 okay it has got a various shapes and the proteins that are released during the digestion are 35 to 129 type of proteins and various types of insects are 
susceptible for these proteins. And a BT crop, the refuge area. In the US, the EPA requires the BT corn farmers implement refuge areas in these guidelines. Growers may plant up to 80% of their corn acres with BT corn. At least 20% must be planted with non-BT corn. That is the refuge area. The refuge area must be within adjacent to or near the BT corn, uh, corn fields. It must be placed within half mile of the BT field. If the refuge or strikes within the file, the strips should be at least a four rows. Okay, here is the diagram which shows how the farmers are planting various corn plants. Coming to the BT, which is the genetically modified crops. Since 1996, plants have been modified with the short sequences of genes from BT to express the crystal protein BT that makes other benefits attributed to using the BTGM, which are including the reduced environmental impact from the pesticides when the plants are producing the toxin in their tissues, there is no need to spray synthetic pesticides or apply BT mixtures topically. Increased opportunity for beneficial insects. BT proteins will not kill the beneficial insects. And finally, the reduced pesticide exposure to farm workers and non-target organisms. Apart from baseless thuringiensis, baseless populi and a baseless uh, uh, lentimobus are there. A mixture of baseless populi and a baseless lentimobus is available under the trade name Doom in USA market since many years. This microbial insecticide successfully suppresses the population of Japanese beetle by producing milky disease on them. Baseless thuringiensis variety Kustaki that is uh, under baseless pericus. Out of 152 isolates, baseless pericus one isolate that is the uh, uh, accession number BCRC B42 has been given 5 star ranking based on its toxicity to mosquito larvae by WHO collaborating reference center is Pasteur Institute in Paris, France. The technology for the production of this agent has been assigned to NRDC for commercialization. Insects controlled by BT. Kustaki strain commercially called as a BioBit, Dipal, MVP, Stewart, Thuricide, etc. The vegetable insects affected are cabbage worms, cabbage looper, and the imported cabbage worm, then diamond back moth, etc. Tomato and tobacco horn worm. Field and forage crop insects like European corn borer, alfalfa caterpillar, alfalfa webworm okay these are the insects can be controlled using bt coming to the fruit crop insects which are controlled by the bt are leaf roller akimon spins coming to the tree and the shrub insects tent caterpillar fall webworm leaf roller red humped caterpillar Spiny elm caterpillar, western spruce budworm, pine budworm, pine butterfly. Baseless thuringiensis zero variety Israelensis, BTI. BTI, baseless thuringiensis zero variety uh, is a group of bacteria used as biological control agents for larvae stages of diphtherians. 
BTI produces toxin which are effective in killing various species of mosquitoes, fungus, gnats and black flies while having almost no effect on other organisms. BTI stains the processes the, the Bt toxins plasmid which encodes numerous cry and uh, cytotoxins including cry 4, cry 10, cry 11, site 1 and site 2. In the commercial formulations include mosquito dungs and mosquito bits. The other strain is Santiago strain tenebriansis strain. More recently, strains have been developed with activity against some leaf beetles such as Colorado potato beetle and elm leaf beetle. That is nothing but Santiago strain, tenebriansis strain. Among the various Bt strains, insecticidal activity is specific. That is, Bt strains developed for mosquito larvae do not affect caterpillars. Development of BT products is an active area and the manufacturers, manufacturers produce a variety of products. Israelensis strains, Vitobac, Mastrodens, Natrol, Bactimos, etc., which controls mosquito, black fly, and fungus gnat. Santiago, Santiago Tenebriansis strain, commercial, commercially called as a Trident, M1, m track Foil, Novador, etc., which can control Colorado potato beetle, Elm leaf beetle, Cotton wood leaf beetle. Coming to the resistance. Insects are known for their ability to develop resistance to insecticides. In a population of insects, there are maybe a few individuals that carry the genes for resistance. These genes arise from mutations and are rare. Minimize the, how, to, how to minimize the resistance? Currently, in the field, the diamond back moth is the only insect found to have developed resistance against Bt. The diamond back larvae, when feed on all plants in the mustard family, including canola, mustard, broccoli, and cabbage, Bt rota uh, by by rotating uh, by crop rotating. Methods, the pressure of one specific strain of Bt on an insect is minimized. The pest insect has less time to develop resistance before a new strain is used for a different insects, that is Bt transgenic crop. Here you can able to see the picture of diamond black moth first reported by Bt resistance by USDA and you can able to see the other picture after only a few bites of leaves with the built-in Bt protection in the crop this uh, corn stalk borer larvae crawled off the leaf and uh, died this is the way the Bt toxin affects the index potential risks to using Bt. The first one is invasiveness. The genetic modifications through traditional breeding or by genetic engineering can potentially change the organism to become invasive. Few introduced organisms become invasive, yet it is a concern for the users. Resistant to Bt. The biggest potential risk of to use the Bt crops is resistance. Farmers have taken many steps to help prevent resistance. The other one is cross-contamination of genes. Although it is unproven, 
change from GM crops can potentially introduce the new genes into the native species. Coming to the commercial preparations of the baseless thuringiensis. Commercial preparations of baseless thuringiensis, BT, under different trade names such as Thuricide HPC, Thuricide HP, Thuricide 32B, Thuricide 16B, Dipel HG, Dipel 4L, and uh, Backlos Pain, SOK BT, BK, Tribacter, etc., are being used on numerous agricultural crops, forest trees, and ornamentals for control of insect pests in developed countries. Coming to the large scale production, the, produ <coughs> the production of BT based thuringiensis commercially commercial scale is economically important and in order to develop its production, it is necessary to have human resources, technology for producing equipments and controls, adequate and cheap raw materials, adapted microorganisms and biosafe facilities. Fermentation for the BT, fermentation medium which has got Agronat 1 was developed using agricultural raw materials. It gives high yield of colony forming units as well as spore count and the D endotoxin concentration. Production of medium at the pilot scale in a microbial technology and engineering center, there is a microtech is presently conducted using batch fermentation. After fermentation, during the downstream process, the downstream process involved centrifugation, spray drying, fermented liquid culture where spun and the concentrate was stored in storage tank. The concentrate was then spray dried using fluidized spray dryer to form vegetable powder which is called as a teracil tea. And uh, this flowchart explains the way of baseless thuringiensis, which are produced in a different way. And finally, it is converted into a dry powder. Okay, this is the way it is uh, cultured. First, the fermenter broth is prepared at the pH 8.4 to 8.7 and adjust the pH to 7 with HCl and uh, can able to discard the supernatant and uh, can able to do the centrifugation. The slurry is taken and it is mixed with and it is suspended in a 1 tenth or 1 twentieth of volume of virtual broth and added with a 4 to 6 percentage of lactose stir for 30 minutes and adding to that 4 volume of acetone and stir it again for 30 minutes, stand, it, stand still for 10 minutes, then filter with the suctions, suction filter. And uh, discard the filtrate and uh, residue is taken, which is stirred with a uh, small volume of acetone. And again, discard the filtrate and take the residue, with, uh, residue is stirred with a small volume of acetone then discard the filtrate and uh, then the residue is taken which is uh, dried overnight. And this is the way the, the, the protein, active protein is dry, okay, obtained as a dry powder. Coming to the application part, the, the application part of this baseless thuringiensis is mainly in the organic farming. BT proteins have been used in many organic forms for over 50 years as a microbial pest control agent. BT has also been found to be safe to all higher animals tested. BT stains account for nearly 90% of the world MPCA market. Typical agricultural formulations include vegetable powders, spray concentrates, liquid concentrates, dust, base and the time release of rings, uh, BT formulations may be applied to foliage, soil, 
water environments or food storage facilities the field of biotechnology uh, in, the, in the agriculture product foil the gene for the toxin with activity against beetles was transferred through conjugation that is the sexual reproduction in bacteria to a btk cell that only affected butterflies and moths pseudomonas fluorescence cells can be engineered to produce the bt uh, delta endotoxin uh, without the production of a spore in the products mbp and m track the pseudomonas fluorescence cell is killed after it produces the crystal protein when the product is applied the delta endotoxin uh, remains protected within the new dead cell wall coming to the recent issues the development of pest resistance in egg plants genetically modified to express a natural insecticide derived from the bacteria bacillus thuringiensis thus making it resistant to the fruit and the shoot borer he is uh, moving from greenhouse experiments to large scale field trials the gm eggplant is expected to be the first genetically engineered food crop in south asia and is expected to reduce the use of insecticides by 30% which is considerable uh, given that about 1.5 million acres of acres in india and bangladesh is planted to egg plants disadvantages bt is susceptible to degradation of sunlight degradation by sunlight some of the new strains developed for leaf beetle control become ineffective in about 24 hours manufacturers are experimenting with several techniques to increase its persistence one involves inserting bt toxic crystal genes into other species of bacteria that can better survive on leaf surfaces additives which are nothing but a sticking or wetting agents often are useful in bt application to improve performance allowing it to cover and resist washing and these are the references which i referred for this presentation i sincerely thank you everyone for patience listening hope you got some information on bacterial insecticides